Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to continue this API microservice service certification. If you haven't completed the first video that I made on this subject, you that's absolutely critical. That shows you how to deploy web apps and that's what we're working on here. So the keywords field is where you can describe your project using relative, related keywords. Here's an example. Keywords. This is scriptive related words. As you can see, this field is structured as an array of double quoted strings. Add an array of suitable strings to the keywords field in the package JSON for your project. One of the keywords should be free code camp. Okay, awesome. So what we wanna do is we've got our app deployed to Heroku right now, um, and we've got our code for the package.json here. And so what we wanna do now is we wanna add a uh, the keywords. So we're going to say it's important to use double quotes and we're going to say keywords. And then within here, we're going to create an array. And inside of the array, we want it to say, well, first off, we'll say a uh, useful programmer. And then we'll want it to say free code camp. And I think that they want it to be all underscores. And we want it to be all underscores. So free code camp. And, um, what else could we like? Learn to be a programmer. Okay, and then an important thing here is you, this is a JSON object, right? Um, and so each of the key value pairs has double quotes on it, double quotes, and then it's separated by a comma. So it's, it'd be easy to make the mistake of forgetting to put a comma here. Because if you did forget to put a comma here, it wouldn't work. Actually, the whole web app would crash. Um, so it's really important to have this exactly right. So we've got keywords, as you can see, and then it's got a comma. Um, the only time that you wouldn't need the comma is if it were the last element. This is the last element, so there is no comma here. Putting a comma here, I think, is actually break JSON. So I want to save the project over here. And then we open back up to our terminal. If we say, yeah, if I go PWD, you can see that I'm in the boilerplate NPM project that we started with. So um, if I list out, you can see all the files in here, the package.json. And if I go get status, you can see that we've modified the JSON, the package. So now what we want to do is go get add. And we can just say the package.json. And then, or we can say git add period, either one. And then, so git status, that shows us that we have staged the uh, change. So we want to commit that now, git commit dash m. And as the message, we want to say add a keywords um, value to package.json. This could be whatever you want it to be. I just like to be specific when I'm um, writing these things. Uh, the keyword says, let's see, should be an array, it should include free code camp, and there should be a keywords key. So yeah, that's, everything's good there. So now what we want to do is push our changes to the project. Um, we are using Heroku, so I'm going to say, and for some reason we've got this weird thing where in order to push to Heroku, we can't just say git push Heroku master, we have to say git push Heroku head master. <laughs> And so this is going to actually deploy the changes to our Heroku app, which is live on the internet. <clears throat> and so it's going through here, it's rebuilding the app, and it's installing all the web, the binaries and things. And so the computers at Heroku are spinning up right now. We're, <clears throat> we're loading the new application into there. And so now that that's there, I, I can also say git push, um, and this will just make the changes to our uh, web application. You see it was 15 minutes ago when I added the description. And now if I refresh the page, we should see the keywords have been added. So we can see that on GitHub. So we've got one branch of GitHub and one branch on Heroku, which means that we can make local changes. And then when we're ready to push it to the master, we can do that. Um, so yeah, we're pushed up there. And we're pushed up uh, in terms of the um, live web app that we have here. And so if we come and we bring this over here, we can say that we've completed the challenge. Cool, hope you guys enjoyed that one. It's kind of simple to do that, but it's really important to watch episode one in this API microservices. So if you didn't do that, uh, make sure you uh, go ahead and do that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.